guys. Well, a new edition of Fat Kid Tuesdays with a new co-host. Introduce yourself to the peeps. Hi, hi this is Roj. We want to try this pizza here because it has great reviews. Yep. And here with us. Uh, been recommended to me by someone named Joshua. So I was just like, okay, Josh, I'll take your recommendation. Torino's. They apparently have great slices, but we came a little late. Yeah. We're going to go for Meat Lover's Pizza. We got to wait a while for it. So uh, giving you guys an intro. Yeah. You told me you, you haven't had a good slice since you've come here, right? Yeah, I, ha I have been here for three months. Yeah. I haven't had a, like a great pizza yeah. here. And I have high hopes them here me too me too i know like pizza one of your favorite foods pizza is one of them yeah okay favorite. okay so we'll do a few pizza episodes i know somewhere in kensington really awesome slices Perfect. Italian pizza. Yeah. yeah anything authentic italian perfect all right guys well we're gonna go in there stay tuned the man here how are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing well. This is uh, I, I'm the owner of Torino Pizza, and, and this is this is my shop. And we've been in business for about 21 years. Um, our, our sauce is uh, is mixed here. Our, our dough is made daily here. Our pizza is fresh, and our pizza looks good. It smells good, and and uh, and, and it tastes good. So you guys are welcome. Please for, for the channel. Uh, subscribe and, uh, and and share the channel and and and, and help uh, help out and we, we have we have more good uh, uh, good videos are, are, are coming towards you uh, from 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 different places but Torino Pizza is here and we're here to uh, serve our community thank you so much hey, you welcome. Appreciate that. what is your Approach. name what's your name uh, it's Fred Fred okay yeah, it's Fred Torino Fred Torino yeah. please come and say hi to Fred Torino tell them yeah. back in Tuesday sent you yes anytime we're here to help right on yeah right on thank you enjoy uh, enjoy the rest of uh, your time everybody absolutely yeah, yeah. thank you you like breathing? thank you I'm trying for the first time I think. yeah yes. <laughs> yeah it's good it's With pizza is the best thing. Yeah, it's the best. I was telling her, it's like when I was 19, an Italian friend of mine told me, yeah, yeah. have that anytime you have yeah. pizza. Yeah. I've been drinking it for 20 years now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. With pizza, with pizza this, this is, that's my drink. Without pizza, or I don't know. Yeah, you can't. Without, yeah, I know it's that. It just I, completes the pizza. It's a, it just, uh, Brio is the boyfriend of pizza. That is, that is the perfect that's way to say it. Italian <laughs> saying that is cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, yeah. Okay, peeps, so we got our meat lover's pizza available for us. Um, we are having it with some brio. See a stronger hand to me, I had to use my shirt. Ready? This is come in. Nice thin crust. The pizza is really hot, so just be careful. Right on? Nice and fresh, right out of the oven. Take a look at that piece. I like the bread. So oh yeah, yeah. I like the bottom. You can see it's yeah. nice and crispy. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. It was definitely good. What do you think of it? Can you give me a Good. I like it. Good fresh hot like, Yeah, I like it and how thin it is. Mm -hmm. I love that crisp that you're getting from it. And it's too hot, too hot. Mm -hmm. Brush out the mm -hmm. oven. This is the type of peaches that's so good you don't need dipping sauce. Yeah. Everything's the right amount. Mm -hmm. Just the frosting, the cheese. I like it. It's really hot, peeps. Mm -hmm. But it's really good. So I'll keep eating it. <laughs> so, as far as the pizzas you've tried in the three months that you've been in Toronto, where did this one rate? 
Yeah? Yeah. We're right along. It's real pizza. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been eating real... I've been seeing real pizza in three months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just real pizza. Right on. Yeah. Mission so. accomplished, peeps. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the brio? Italian cola, as you guys heard, mm -hmm. the the boyfriend of pizza, if you will, right? And uh, I like it. Mm. Mm. Coffee and cream too. Without caffeine. Mmm, coffee and cream. Yeah. Pizza back home. Mm, they have like great pizzas. Mm -hmm. So many different pizzas because Iranian food are like very different, very like using every kind of spices too much. Mm -hmm. and it's great. A lot of strong yeah. flavors. Okay. I've never tried Iranian food. You should. This is it's weird. Perfect. My first girlfriend was half Iranian, so I probably yeah. should have. But <laughs> she yeah. didn't really know her culture too well. No, In Persian cuisine is just perfect. Yeah? Just, yeah. Okay, we'll definitely have to do an yeah. episode. Mm -hmm. They even have like a pizza, it's just tongue. Yeah. yeah. A tongue. Or, yeah. Okay. Cow's tongue. It's just so cool. How does that so, taste? Perfect. Mm -hmm. It's just it was just American pizza. I love uh, both American and Italian pizza. Okay. But it was just cool. Right on. Like liver and thyme. So many weird things. In yeah. It, but it tasted perfect. That almost sounds like Japanese pizza. Really? Have you seen Japanese pizza? I don't know if I would try it. Some of it has octopus on it. Their most popular, one of their most popular flavors is uh, mayonnaise sauce and corn. Oh, mayonnaise? I like. I think Germans like mayonnaise in things too. Yeah, they have mayonnaise with fries. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I put mayonnaise on a lot of stuff too. Mm -hmm. So what's the one food that you haven't gotten, that you haven't been able to find here? I think... You mean Persian food or yeah. just... Persian food. Persian food? And, uh, you can just make everything here. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can just make everything at home. Oh, okay, you okay. You got the recipe, recipe online. And Make it at home, but some a lot of things don't have the same taste here. Uh, of the vegetables or the uh, different spices, mm -hmm. you can't find everything as same as. Ah, uh, it's not as fresh. Yeah. No, I've heard that. Yeah. I actually had a conversation with someone from Africa, and he was telling me the meat and the vegetables over there are like on a completely different level than what that we have here in Canada. Which I do believe, because yeah. I know going back to Trinidad, there are certain things that my parents make up here that mm -hmm. I don't enjoy, but when I had it in Trinidad when I was a kid, mm -hmm. I loved it. I would eat it all the time there, but then when we came back here and they made it here, it just wasn't the same experience. So, this is your first episode. Tell the pizza bit about yourself. What did you do before you came to Canada? I, I have this. <laughs> For a funny story, I went to med school, then I tried to follow my passion, which was like 
writing and making films during COVID. I stayed home to write and binge watch all the series. And here I am. Thank you, content. And acting, making films, making animations, right. and everything basically. And I recently moved here to Canada. I'm just trying to find myself here. Right. What kind of projects have you worked on since you started in the industry? Uh, I produced three short films, mm -hmm. and I directed and acted in one. And uh, I have a pilot for sitcom, mm -hmm. which I'm trying to uh, finish the pilot and submit it to TV stations. Something with it, but the story is happening in the States. Okay. Mm, yeah. And I'm trying like different kind of acting or voice acting, dancing gigs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Been in any good projects? Really? Mm, they, they, I just got, got some callbacks and mm -hmm. shortlisted, and they're just filling in end of July or oh. August. Okay, right on, right on. It's a good thing about the industry here in Toronto because there's a lot going on. We film a lot of TV and movies here. I actually have a buddy who works on the Star Trek Discovery shows. He does uh, the locations. We're actually working on an independent TV show. A buddy from his, of his is in the industry is uh, producing it. Um, I'll let you know if we got any extra roles in it. Um, I filmed the pilot. It's actually pretty cool. It's like um, it's called Touched by Death. Uh, the story is this guy has an encounter with the Grim Reaper's daughters, and he gets her powers. So now he has the ability to send, set people's souls yeah. free. And it's this whole whirlwind going on of his love story with her. I play his best friend, who's like the crazy like uh, voodoo dude, who like. When this is going on to him, I know what's going on because yeah. I like I my character knows all this stuff. So when he's uh, telling me, I was like, "Oh my god, this is a first class blah blah blah." Yeah. And then it's like I, the scene we film, I'm like I'm telling him, "Bro, your life's gonna change. Yeah. We gotta talk. We gotta do all this." He's like, "No, I don't want to deal with this." And then he just leaves. Mm. And then you see him go to the girl. And then he meets the Grim Reaper. The girl introduces him to him as her father. He's like, "Wait, the Grim Reaper's your father?" It's like it's crazy. Wait, where did you, where, when did you film it? Uh, we filmed it last summer. Mm. After this time last year. But then because of the actors and the writer's strike, I put the uh, shop in the series around on hold mm. for a long time. And I actually just saw the trailer for it for the first time a month ago. It's actually really cool because it's my voice narrating the whole trailer. So I was like, yo, it's my voice throughout the whole trailer. No way. Because I, I thought I was just like a one-off, but they mm. told me, uh, when the director, Jonathan, really cool guy, saw me, he's like, oh my god, you have the look. You're, you're, you're that guy. And I was like, okay, okay, yeah, I'll be this guy. I did not get the character yeah. until after we shot it. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, because it was like one of my first real professional shoots, I like was not gonna, I literally wrote all my lines in a notebook, but my character's writing in the notebook the whole time, so I'm just reading my lines the whole oh, time. I, yeah. Perfect. I, and I didn't have a feel for it, but then at the end, you don't have to like memorize. No, no. I, I just got lucky in that one. <laughs> but the thing is, it's like my character. He says all these complicated words and all these things. So it's like I know when we're filming the rest, it's gonna. Be, oh man, I'm gonna have to like have it written on my wrist or something. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> because it's like everything. The other actor, the other guy is like a real yeah. actor. He has like one or two lines. Then I have like two paragraphs yeah. to say. I did, did that in my film too. I had like it was so. So many bad things happened uh, on mm. the set, and I I was so nervous I forgot all the lines. Mm. Even if I I myself wrote it, yeah. it was just horrible. I was just reading on my phone. Oh my god! Oh <laughs> wow! Was so... and the, the one thing that does not work for me for film is like yeah. it's always so early in the morning. I'm a night owl. I'm up to like mm. three or four in the morning editing videos every day. Then I gotta get up at like five or six in the morning to go shoot. It's just like, I did not sleep. I yeah. went in there, no sleep, completely dead, completely tired, no low energy. 
But apparently everyone told me I did a great job. Like, I interviewed uh, Roddy, who's one of the producers of my talk show, like a month ago. I was like, okay, be honest with me, bro. I suck, didn't I? He's like, no. For your first time, you did great. Yeah. I was like, what? Really? Okay. Yeah, maybe you uh, are just good in your conscious mind. Because when you are not fully awake, you are in alpha state and yeah. you, you just act well. Yeah, it just came yeah. out. It just all came out. It just came out. And you don't feel nervous because you don't like feel completely waking up to... You know? But see, the thing that kind of threw me off was it's like, I'm used to just having the camera there. Now, it wasn't a lot of people. There's probably only like seven, eight people on the set. But just like everyone watching me, I literally, I sat there like this the whole time. Like in yeah. between sets, I'm just like trying to memorize everything, trying to, because I like I only knew like uh, Roddy and his girlfriend. They're the only two people I met because we went to wrestling together before. You didn't rehearse it at all? I had to, I had to script three months. Oh my god, you're the like, last minute guy. And I was just like, because I'm so used to improv in it, right? Mm -hmm. And I had it in my head, okay, I'm just gonna, I didn't even know I could improv. They told me after, it's like, you can improv. I was, like, <laughs> I was just like, because no, I wanted, I, I, when we go forward, I'm gonna put mo some of my own flavor into it. But it was just like, okay, being it known I can improv, it makes it easier. Because then I was like, okay, that's what the character says. Oh, this is how I talk. So I'm just gonna say it how I talk. So it was just like, I'm looking forward to when we're gonna start it. Perfect. Roddy has a lot of independent projects he's working on. Mm -hmm. I'll recommend him. Um, I'll do shoot, you can meet him. We'll all shoot together one time. You can talk to him because he got a lot going on. He just started his own production company too, I think. Perfect. Really cool guy. Actually, didn't meet him in the industry. I met him because of wrestling. Mm -hmm. um, About food reviews or stuff or just. Meet them casually. Oh, uh, well, see, I do like other kind of content where it's like a talk show, mm -hmm. or like I do like variety type of context where we'll have like this other show I call Real Talk. So we have a topic and everyone debates it. And I try to get people who are like completely different mm -hmm. from each other. So then it's like a big debate and just mm -hmm. like everyone with different opinions. So we'll do one of those. I haven't done that since the YouTube Space Axis. Mm -hmm. Those are always interesting. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Like, um, should it live or just? I think you. Yeah, I edited it. I don't do a lot of live content. Mm -hmm. uh, I have like my YouTube channel. People can pay for monthly memberships. Mm -hmm. So I, I do a live for the people who pay for the subscription. Mm -hmm. But outside yeah. of that, I don't regularly do lives. On Instagram or YouTube? I've never done it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, my niece did it on Instagram once. Mm -hmm. She like opened up my page. <laughs> and she went live. <laughs> she's not too good. Well, How old is she? Um, she was like at the time. Right now she's like 27. Mm -hmm. I think she was like 23. Huh? I thought that she was a kid, like under 10 years old. Yeah. No, she's like, she has her own business too. She does, um, she has this uh, boutique called Soccer Mind of Beauty, women clothing and stuff. I try to share their stuff whenever. My other niece, um, one that's like 23, she just started a candle business. If you like mm -hmm. candles, she's looking for people, she's giving candles away to them for free, mm -hmm. just so you do a review to her, mm -hmm. for her. Perfect. So what is your rating now? Good feature. So um, for here or for all the pizzas I have? For here. On the flat kid scale of yumminess, out of five, what do you give it? 4.9. 4.9? I'm honestly gonna give it a five out of five, and I yeah. rarely ever do that. Just, you know what? Flavor was good, quality was good. Yeah, perfect. You actually like got it. real, really awesome staff, very friendly. Um, yeah. And the mm, bread was just... Yeah, the crispiness yeah. on the crust, that is, I, I love that bite, the crispiness. And it was no waste, mm -hmm. and you know, part that you can just eat it. Yeah, it was just absolutely perfect. perfect. 
Carino's guys on York Mills Road. Be sure to come and check them out. Tell them Fat Kid Tuesday sent you. Um, definitely recommend you guys to come out here. This is a quality uh, slice of za, which you can't really find that much. So it was like you were telling me you haven't yeah. had a good slice since you, the three months you've been here, right? Yeah, and I was here before, mm -hmm. in 2016. I didn't have good pizza then either. What? Just the first pizza yeah. that I have. Mission yeah. accomplished. <laughs> Fat Kid Tuesday is your debut. You've got a quality slice. Now we gotta figure out what else did you try? What are we gonna do next time? Ribs. Ribs? Oh! Ribs. Oh man, I wish you said that. Montana says all you can eat ribs. You could've went there. All you can, oh my god, that's, you're gonna just explode. <laughs> all you can eat is <laughs> We'll find a good ribs spot. <laughs> A barbecue spot. We'll see yeah. if uh, Lady V will be able to join us next time. Um, sushi. Sushi. You're against sushi. I've had it once. Mm -hmm. I've had it once. I, well, I've had it multiple times. The first time I went to All You Can Eat was uh, my second episode I filmed with Lady V. Um, does she love? Uh, oh yeah, she? she does. She does. No. She's like, she's like a hardcore foodie. Mm -hmm. Like she, like when we go to certain places, like she's like. When it's all you can eat, yes. it's high ticket items. So you get the high ticket items first. Mm -hmm. CEC knows everything. She does her research every time we do an episode. It's just like, and I'll admit something I have not admit. And she comes prepared. Yeah, yeah, she comes prepared. She does research about everything. Um, like we're doing these uh, Japanese candies the other day. She was even saying uh, Japanese words in the yeah. video. Um, I will say, I did not, I did enjoy the sushi. There was one thing I did not enjoy, but I won't say what it was because it's something she said she really liked. But I remember, no, 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 it was like okay, the, the seaweed salad. I liked it. I, a lot of people told me they loved that. I don't know what it was, but when I had it, I just did not like it. I don't know. It's just like jelly. Yeah. It's something green. It just May doesn't have a taste. But maybe, it's cool. maybe it was like the the way it was done there. And I remember she was saying, this is her, she literally says, this is my favorite salad, and I'm like, Oh my god, is this a salad? No. Oh, yeah. This is good. It's ah, chewy. It's good. And like, I, and I was like, the only time where I lied in front of the camera about how something tastes, because I didn't want to make her feel bad. Yeah. But right now, we're like, we're close enough, and I kind of feel kind of confident saying in the video, she's not going to mind as much. Um, but yeah. yeah. But I will be honest going forward. So when you take me out and I get to try Persian food the first time, you find somewhere for us to go. I'll be honest. Yeah. I'll be honest. No, I haven't like had great Persian food here. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to find it it's myself. Good then okay. I just okay. 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 So that would be like in the next season. Yeah. You guys will get to that eventually. Right now, you here. Um, your third one. Doing the research. Yeah. I gotta show her all the best places in Toronto. She's new here. I gotta do that. Ribs are next. What are we doing after ribs? Mexican? Mm, okay. You guys know I know. I know good Mexican spots. Um, burrito tacos? Do you like burrito tacos? Yeah. Okay, I know I know the best place. I know the best place. We've done the episode. Enchiladas? I love. Enchiladas? Yeah. Okay, okay. I know the perfect place for that. Right, so we're gonna wrap it up. I'm full, which is like, I, I want to eat more, but I'm just like way too full right now. Um, where can they follow you on social media? Um, huh? Where can they follow, like your Instagram and your YouTube if you have one? No, I don't have a YouTube channel right now. Um, my Instagram page is Th dot r dot o dot h, which means the rose. It's just my name. The rose shortened, format of my name, and the r is between the dots. You'll see that up here above us. You guys can also search it, and it'll be down in the description below. Now, when we end these episodes, I have an outro that I get everyone to say with me. It might take a few tries. It usually takes everyone a couple <laughs> tries to do it. So I'm gonna say yeah. stay. I'm gonna say stay good peeps, and then we're yeah. both gonna say and keep it blitz after I say that. Blitz. Yeah. Blitz. So stay good peeps and keep, keep it, it blitz. blitz.